For a state as beautiful as ours, we sure have our, uh, our share of smog. Not that it's been shared fairly. An August report from the state health department found the levels of fine particle pollution in Commerce City and North Denver to be higher than anywhere else in the state. And some of that pollution came from traffic and wildfire smoke. Some of it came from Suncor, a nearby refinery that's become common reference for poor air quality. Well, today lawmakers and environmental justice advocates called out companies like Suncor while pledging to clear the air of unhealthy chemicals. Denver 7's Ivan Rodriguez explains their plan. Lawmakers and environmental justice advocates say many Coloradans don't have strong protections in place against toxic pollutants, especially in communities of color. Their goal is this piece of legislation changes that. Everyone deserves access to healthy air. Colorado State Senator Julie Gonzalez is a sponsor of the Public Protections from Toxic Air Contaminants Act. She says if the bill is passed, it will impact communities across the state by setting a broad range of regulations for all corporations releasing toxic pollutants into the air. Communities will have more tools to hold these toxic polluters, like Suncor or like any other corporation that is spewing out benzene, formaldehyde, and a host of other pollutants out into the air in Colorado. At this stage, how they plan on holding companies accountable is still up in the air. This is all going to be um, part of the debate here uh, of this bill, because there's a lot of different ideas on what accountability looks like, right? What is clear for people who live near plants like Suncor, it's about time. It should have happened, yes over 20, 30 years ago. Kids, I have three elementary age uh, kids and a lot of times it's hard for them to go outside and play because there's just so much pollution outside, so much smog that they can't even really breathe. For Laura Martinez, who has lived in Commerce City for nearly 30 years, the question of how they'll keep companies across the state accountable is crucial. Playing maybe heftier fines or actually, you know, maybe one idea that I would love to see is for every fine that they get, they plant a certain number of trees in that community. Some of the goals with the new bill include limiting toxic emissions, studying impacts from air pollution from more than one facility, and strengthening reporting and monitoring of pollutants. What is clear is that there are bad actors across the state um, who have been spewing out uh, pollutants into our air for years and it's time we took action. Because even though it may have taken longer than expected to get to this point, clean air is something Martinez wants to see for her children. It needs to be a right to breathe clean air. And especially here in the United States, I think we all deserve it. Ivan Rodriguez, Denver 7. In 2020, Suncor and the state health department settled for $12 million, and that money was to go toward improving operations and enhancing technology. Now, to our knowledge, it remains the largest payout involving air quality in Colorado history. Suncor said, to, Suncor said today it's reviewing the language in this latest bill and hopes to have open and factual discussions to find the right solution.